Welcome back to Geek It Plays Poser Tutorials for Beginners. In this lesson we'll learn how to export an animation for Flash and View as well as an animation that you can view in any movie player. So the first thing we need to do is to so the first thing we need to do is load up our figure of choice. We've got the alien business figure here with some props applied to him. You can see he's got the bling, the real bling bling dollar symbol on his chest and and the pinky rings also very bling bling as is the white suit and the red tie on the red shirt so he's looking real mobster type and we're gonna and to export an animation we're gonna need to have an animation so we're gonna load up a feature that we haven't used yet called the walk designer and this is a handy little feature and poser that allows you to create a walk cycle very quickly by dialing up sliders and these are the different types of walks you, you need to press walk to to view to preview you need to press walk to preview the walk cycle that you have generated this is the standard walk and you can add features to it such as the different generation 2 type features and then there's the P4 features and the P6 features and we're going to add a some toughness to his walk make him look a little stiff we're actually gonna and I think that'll do as is. So we're going to apply it to our figure. We're going to have him walk in place for four and he's going to step with each foot four times which is going to take 120 frames and we'll start at frame one. And we don't need uh, always complete last step or transition from poses because there's no pose to transition from and we'll do it on the base layer now we can click OK so now your walk cycle has been apl applied to your figure let's check it out Wow, that's impressive. He looks like he's been riding a horse. Or maybe he's just really trying to intimidate people. I'll tell you what, I'm pretty intimidated. So now that we have our animation, we can come up here and use our export tools in the file menu and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to export to a BVH motion file it's one of the file types that is readable by several programs it allows you to it's a type of motion capture file that actually can be imported back into Poser. So let's go ahead and don't scale figures and hit OK. And we're going to save it as in 
intimidato lock. So that's one of the file types you can use. You can also come up here to render. You can also come up here to animation and make movie. And we're going to change the format to flash. And we'll look at the options. We can. We're going to go ahead and overlap our colors. Even though it's larger files, it's better quality and we'll draw the outer lines and the number of colors can be seven seems a good round number and we'll go ahead the default four seems fine So we'll go ahead and click OK. And we'll go ahead and use the preview as the renderer. And the resolution is fine as is. And we're going to go ahead and make a movie. And we're going to call this AlienMonster.SWF. And this will be playable on the Shockwave Flash Player. So it takes a little while to export this Flash movie, but once you're done, it'll be a file that you can load up in Flash and modify as you will, as well as play in a internet browser, or like I said before, the Shockwave player. Again, this figure, Alien Business, can be purchased on the Geek at Play content store. I highly recommend it. It's a, it's a neat figure. It has a lot of different props with it. You know, you've seen the bling and the guns, but it also has some dice and a briefcase, as well as some pretty swanky sunglasses. All right, so now that we've exported our animation for Flash, now we're going to export an animation Now we're going to export an animation for view in Now we're going to export an animation for viewing in most any video software. So we'll go AVI and we'll stick with preview as it's a little bit quicker to render. And we're actually only going to do 60 frames so it'll be quicker for our tutorial. And let's go ahead and make the movie. We'll call it Alien Mobster again. Save it out. Microsoft Video 1 is fine. We'll do the compression quality to 100. There's different compression ratios that you can select. To decide which is best for you, you'll need to play around with different compression methods and, and figure out what's the best quality for the file size that you want. You can also go online and search the different codec names to research which is best. We'll go ahead and click OK. And it renders pretty quickly. Now in addition to the BVH file that we saved before, 
that can be loaded onto a poser figure in view. So actually save your scene as whatever you wish it to be. We'll save it as Alien Mobster Walk. And PZ3s can be loaded into view. Thank you for watching this video tutorial from Geek at Play Studios. Please visit us please visit us on the web at posertutorials.net. I'm Geek at Large Jared Buchanan. Thank you.